everyone thank you very much for joining me um, and welcome back to my channel um, last week I treated myself to the memory keepers um, cinch um, my friend Abby and I have been talking about getting getting either a cinch or a zutter bind it all we just we couldn't figure out which to get um, I say it like like we are actually partners, um, but we are we are partners in crime. Uh, we just don't live together. Um, I think our respective partners are relieved about that. Um, but anyway, back to the cinch. Um, so Abby has gone and she's bought herself the zutar. Um, just last week, the week before, I got myself the cinch. Um, and I've had a bit of a play. Um, I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to do a tutorial on this. Um, there are others on YouTube who've done far better and whose camera equipment is far better than mine. Um, but I thought I would just show you what I've accomplished in just a little bit of play um, looking at YouTube and looking at, um, at Pinterest. So, so yeah, let me put this cutie away. Um, and let me show you what I've done. Sorry, I just want to make sure that I am in shot. I am. So this is the this is the first um, journal that I made. Um, It's a 1.25 inch spine wire that I've got in there. This is um, a recycled, um, oh, what is it called? Vintage book from the 1970s. In fact, this is the a cover from the Lady Edith book, uh, one that I've, I've finished. Um, so basically what I've done is I've separated the insides out cut it up, got rid of the spine, um, and then what I did was I distressed I distressed the edges using some vintage uh, ink by Tim Holtz. I've gone and I've um, glued down some vintage maps, um, both in the front and here um, in the back, as you can see. And then what I've done is, in the front here, I have glued down little pockets that I've decorated and collaged on. Um, I've created little tags which I'm wholly in love with. This page is from the Tom Holtz Venom uh, set. Um, and then what I've done is this is a little doily and a little tag a cute little um, mocha sticker, another little tag, some Lady Edith paper. What I love about the cinch is the fact that everything lies down flat. I love junk journals and I love just notebooks and things in general. Um, I remember when we first moved to the UK I completely fell in love with all the little uh, wire notebooks that Paper Chase sold. From Paper Chase's wired notebooks, I moved on to moleskins, um, and I probably have about a hundred moleskins um, from unused. I'd like to point out unused moleskins um, from you know some of their limited edition and some of their. Uh, not so not so limited and more common ones and um, so and then from moleskin i went on to discovering the amazing traveler's notebooks um i discovered crafting i discovered scrapbooking and dumb halts and junk journals and here we are three down three years down the line completely crazy for it still <laughs> Um, anyway, so here we go. Some lovely vintage 
um, book pages, insect pages, tea stain, another bit of scrapbooking paper that I turned into a tag. I must apologize for the noise if you can hear it. It's the trains going by. This is um, this is some beautiful sketch paper that I've added in here. My idea about for this notebook was that you could literally sit down and use it as somewhere to sketch. So I've included a lot of um, things that I find inspiring. Map pages, botanical illustrations, um, the Lady Edith books, the little doilies. My big thing that I would like to do is actually figure out how to do the rings, you know, where you can actually remove the pages and put them back in. Um, but we see, it's early days yet. Cute little flip there, another little flip here. This is the, the back of the Rutland map. This is the front. Another little. This is a tea stain cardstock that I cut into a little tab. Tea stained, another uh, sketch, sketchbook page. Ah, see, now I'm embarrassing myself. Oh, this is why I actually put them together. Never mind, I'm not failing as a creator. What I did was this. I tucked together so this is all one piece so yeah so don't do it Liz be careful <laughs> when you page <laughs> there we go there we go that's one whole section over there <sighs> anyway you live and learn you live and learn um, I just love these plant botanical illustrations from the um, my Bibliographica Botanicus, I think it's what it's called. Another mocha sticker that I've added on there. This is um, a very naked journal. I've basically kept it very simple. I've not added too much because I wanted to make sure that people could add, you know, their own things in here. Um, I am planning others that are slightly more elaborate. Here's a little pocket that I made. And this is another little envelope. That counts as a tuck spot, so you've got a tuck spot inside the tuck spot. Ah! Oh. The sound of it, the sound of it. I've also included um, some really vintage papers. Um, the only thing about working with vintage papers is you need, do need to strengthen it with, um, with things like gesso, but also then work very carefully, purely because it's so, it's fragile. It's fragile stuff, you can't mess around with it. Here's another little tuck spot that I've created and here's one of my little laminated little pockets that I've included in here. Hmm. I couldn't resist this, the hairy woodpecker. Ah, see this is what I've done. This is another little pocket that I've created. Um, and now we're nearing the end of the, the journal. And here we go. This is the other pocket that's in the back. So you've got another little tag there and a mocha sticker. And that's the little, what the decorations look like. Yeah, lots, lots of fun. So this is the first ever one that I made. <coughs> then, 
and then I made this one and um, this one is already sold but I thought I would do a flip through just to show you what what I've put together and um, so this is bookboard that I've used from Shepherds when we were there last time I ended up buying quite a bit of the bookboard <coughs> I must apologize for my voice I think it's the allergies that's um, that's hitting me quite badly today I've created two tags that I'm including in here for the, um, the recipient whose name is Amanda I'll put that back um, and again this is a very naked journal there's no there's no sewing there's no stamping lots of coffee dye paper lots of beautiful vintage illustrations um, various types of blank paper some are copier paper some is sketch paper this is hand torn this beautiful lady Edith this is all the sketch paper as before quite a bit in there some more map paper I've got such a beautiful book of this it almost breaks my heart using it but you know rather use it than have it go to the um, to the recycling center to be pulped there's a whole stack of more sketch papers there this is so beautiful some more lady eaters more tea stain paper I just love this line drawing Holly and Ivy what I've done here is ta I've taken a um, glassine bag and just cut it down slightly um, and I've tucked in this little tag that I made so it adds a bit of interest this is six by six um, cardstock I, I don't actually know where it's from what what paper pad it's from it's um, something that I got in happy mail this is from the Chilton's Children's Encyclopedia this I think probably dates back to around 1910 or so or Lady Edith the county of Nottingham map and there we go so what I've done here is another little pocket that I've created and then there's two tags here Ooh. anyway I'll add that in but what I've included is just this cute little notebook that tucks in here so that can be an extra place to make notes to write on to draw on and then you can just put that across into that as you see fit these journals are so much fun to make um, I am actually in the process of doing um, another big hardback binding with some um, you know proper signatures sewn in but um, but yeah I would just like to show you how beautiful this is. I'm hoping you can see the prettiest. So thank you very much Amanda for buying this. Um, this one is now available in the shop but this one has sold. And then what I also made just for fun and giggles are these little tearaway books. These are handy to just to throw into your um, into your bag when you go on holiday or if you just want to go sit and journal in a coffee shop or a bookshop um, these are easy just to rip out and tear there's various pages in here so you know a great selection of colors of shapes plants lovely papers 
you know, just stuff to use um, for your journaling. This is um, sewing paper. This is some beautiful plant paper. And this is just the, um, the background. Not the background, what do you call it? The backboard, if you will. So yeah, see, so there's three of them. All of these are available in the shop. Um, they're not very much money. They probably are the same price as a coffee, um, and they're just really good fun to play around with. Um, what I do have going in very shortly um, is a brand new journal. Um, I've not yet decided how I'm going to do this. I don't know if I want to ring bind it or if I want to bind it as per normal. I don't know yet. Um, but this is the um, the front page, uh, which I really really like. Um, I just I think that they they lovely. Um, and what else? What else? Oh, okay, so this is the this is the hardback that I'm busy working on at the moment. Um, it is it's really pretty. Um, and actually, I'm looking forward to figuring out what I want to. The papers that are going to go in here, I suspect probably two very big, fat um, signatures. Oh, speaking of signatures, let me show you what I bought. One sec. Hi. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and actually bought myself um, a book cradle. We don't have telephone books here in the UK, or none that I could find. And I don't have a soft cover book that is quite floppy that opens, you know, like this, so that you can slot your pages in when you do signatures. Um, so I've gone and I've invested in this book cradle. It's from a company called, I'll tell you now. Um, time to create and um, time to create and um, so I will link to them uh, in my you know down below um, I've not used it yet I'm basically a little bit nervous using this and um, but what can go wrong, right? So the thing, the reason why I got this is that when I do my signatures, when it comes to actually punching the holes, I really struggle with getting them done, not just all the way through, but also straight. So often my, when I punch the holes, I have to swap the pages out because they've somehow gone skew um, or rather the holes have gone skew and they come out halfway through a page. It's, it's weird, it's bizarre, I don't know. Um, I've been doing this now for a good couple of months and say if I've made 20 journals, maybe 7 of them have gone awry where I have to go and repunch the papers and swap them out because I've I've made a mistake and it's starting to really annoy me and um, so yeah so I've ended up buying this and um, it's a really handy little piece of kit and um, it comes with a cute set of instructions too it's just over 30 centimeters long uh, what just over 12 inches the actual cradle itself is 12 inches which is 30 centimeters if you can see I don't know if there's a reflection um, so yeah so I'm really looking forward to, to trying this out and um, maybe next week I will do a tutorial and, and s if I've managed to do it of course <laughs> if I've managed to use success this successfully the nice thing about this is I've seen something similar at Shepherd's bookbinding shop um, in Victoria here in London 
um, they are incredibly expensive. This one, however, is made out of really thick, um, I don't know, plywood, MDF, I don't know what you call it, um, but it, it seems really well made. I'm really impressed with the quality. I thought it was going to be flimsy. Um, it's not at all. It's 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 solid. It comes ready. Um, what is it called ready made. So it just turns up. You unwrap it and bam, there it is, ready to go. They also sell this as well as like a bookbinding starter kit. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be worthwhile getting the starter kit, but like if like me you like having extras of everything, it might be an idea. So so yeah, so when I get to do the signatures for this cutie, um, I think I will be doing, I'll be using this this cradle to see if I can um, not mess things up. So yeah, that's that's it. Um, I must apologize that I haven't. You know, I wasn't being able to film on Thursday. I got struck down by the world's worst migraine. And then Friday, I had to go to the opticians. And there were various deliveries. So everything that I did try and do ended up being a mess. So I just, I gave up. And instead of filming, I made stuff. Um, so, so yeah. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, and I will see you guys next week.